Chances are you've already got your hands on the new Xbox One X console that's revolutionizing 4K gaming. So if you're new to Xbox in general or if you've upgraded from any older Xbox versions, there are plenty of things you can check out to ensure you have the best setup possible. That's why we have put together a handy list of tips and tricks to help you get used to the new Xbox One X. Download 4K supported games beforehand because these games are bigger, they can take quite a while to download. You can pre-download the 4K assets for a number of Xbox One X enhanced games on your Xbox One or Xbox One S. Then you can transfer them more quickly over the network or using an external storage. Just go to Settings, System, Backup and Transfer and hit A on Download 4K Game Console. You can also go to Settings, System, Updates and check the Keep My Games and Apps Up to Date option which allows the console to download 4K content automatically as they become available. Check up on Xbox One X enhanced games through a new filter under your games and apps section. Games that have an update for enhancements will be shown here. If not, then they aren't available yet. And of course, you can always check their website to see the current list of games which are enhanced. Play your games or your apps from your external instead of a bulk transfer as you can just keep your heavy games and apps in the external storage and use them from there. It's a great way to cut out the time it can take up to transfer them all. When transferring games or apps to your Xbox One X over the network, use an Ethernet and connect it to both your source console and Xbox One X. The great thing about this is, since this feature uses your local area network, therefore it will not use up your network data. Furthermore, this is a speedier way of transferring than over wireless. You can capture up to 5 minutes of gameplay through the game DVR function and now it captures in 4K HDR on the Xbox One X. Footage shared on Xbox Live will be converted to 1080p automatically, but you can save the full resolution material onto an external drive for use elsewhere. Xbox One X is backward compatible with Xbox 360 and original Xbox games that are in an ever-expanding list. If you have any games that you find in the official list, play them from the disc as if they are on their original console format. More than 400 backward compatible titles are also available to download through the Xbox Store. Xbox Live Gold gives you free games each month that will be available to you as long as you continue to subscribe along with giving you the ability to play against millions of other players over the internet. Besides, Xbox Live Gold members also get big discounts on games rotated on a monthly basis. And during big sales periods such as Black Friday, deals are often much cheaper for subscribers. Don't buy new cables if you're upgrading from an Xbox One S to an Xbox One X. You can simply remove the One S and use the exact same cables for the new console. If you are replacing an Xbox One, then you will need to swap out the power cable as the older machine uses an external power brick while the Xbox One X and One S have internal power units. For external drive, grab yourself a healthy sized external USB drive with USB 3.0 and 256GB or higher storage. The Xbox One X comes with a proper HDMI cable in the box. This is the only cable you'll need unless you're running some other sort of video system through the Xbox One X. If so, just ensure that yours is HDMI high speed branded. Xbox One X boot setup takes a lot of time but with the fall update, so a good approach here is to not waste any more time by going through the setup to configure your settings and adding your account using a controller, but use the backup option. It lets you transfer your account in many settings such as notifications, power options, sign-in information, and more over to your new console. Using this feature, your settings will copy to an external hard drive. To do so, open Settings, System, Backup and Transfer, Backup My Settings option, finally Backup to Device option to create a new backup. That's it for the tips and features. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and if you're not subscribed already then go ahead. Until next time.